Here we have the Accelo Town 7 by Decathlon. It retails for $149, sometimes it's on sale for $119. It comes in two different colors. This one is the mint one. We actually have the black silver version. This is the minimum adult size scooter that I would recommend people get. Okay, it is designed for heights from 4.8 feet all the way up to 6.4 feet and has a maximum weight limit of 220 pounds. Now, we have put more poundage on here before, riding two at a time, definitely would have recommended it, but it can support it. I think it's just for safety reasons that they have a 220 pound limit. Putting it together is actually really simple. It almost comes just about 100% pre-assembled in the box when you get it. You just basically have to figure out how to um, work the locking mechanism, which takes a little bit more work than the higher end model. I'm, I'm talking about the Town 9. But once you figure that part out, you can just click it in place and then lock it down and you're good. The handlebars break down so that it fits better. And you just basically stick those into two different slots as well. There's a little quick release button that you can go ahead and uh, press to release. Now the whole thing weighs 12.3 pounds. It's relatively lightweight. Uh, if you go with an upgraded model, the Town 9, which I also highly recommend, um, you're looking at more weight and more space taken. So this one comes with dual shock suspension, front and rear, 200 millimeter style wheels, which are super slick and ready to go, which is excellent on most terrain surfaces. It's not as stable as the Town 9, and I'm referring to that a lot because that's the next upgrade one, but it's far superior to many other scooters on the market that cost quite a lot less. So far, uh, in the several months that we've had it, it's been fairly maintenance-free. There's only a couple of things that um, I would recommend. Uh, one is that this does not have built-in lights. You're going to want to add some lights on there, and you'll probably want to add some sort of reflectors as well. Don't forget to get a helmet. One other thing is that there's a brake control. Uh, there's brake controls like a on a BMX bike or regular bike, hand brakes, and then you also have the regular foot brake. The foot brakes don't work very well when you're going at speed. It's going to be the front brakes that give you the serious stopping power when you're going downhill or uh, faster than 10 miles per hour. Uh, so it's a really fun way to get outside and exercise a bit and get further in a trip. What we primarily use it for is to get back from our parking space. If you're interested in getting one, please check out my link down below or just go to your local decathlon. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.